You glad to be here today? You made it to Eastern University campus, started your classes this week. God is good and he's faithful. This time is the time just to worship, to cast all your anxieties and cares on the Lord. Feel free to worship with us. Don't just be a spectator, but partake in this. And I'm decreeing, declaring that when you leave chapel on Wednesdays, you won't leave the same way you came in. You'll leave inspired with your marching orders to go forth and continue to do the will of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's worship our God. He's worthy to be praised. I try with all my mind, but I just can't win the fight. I'm slowly drifting, a vagabond. And just when I ran out of road, I met a man I didn't know, and he told me that I was not. Because you healed my heart, you changed my name, forever free, I'm not the same, I think the master, I think the savior, I think God. Got no choice but to believe my doubts are burning like ashes in the wind. Just go along to my old friends, burden and bitterness, so you just keep them moving. Y'all ain't welcome here. So now still I walk streets of gold. Sing of how you saved my soul. This wayward son has found his way back home. Oh, oh, oh. You picked me up, you turned me around, you placed my feet on solid ground. I think the master, I think the savior, because you feel my heart. You changed my name, forever free. I'm not the same. I think the master.
your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. that it's your breath it's It's your your breath breath in our lungs so we God, you said the heavens declare your glory. We are consumed in this, in your presence right here, right now. <sighs> right here, as the heavens are opening up, pour your spirit on us. From the present to faculty, staff to students, God. Send a revival to this campus. That would not just stay here on this campus, but will go forth into the land because we need it, God. And the only way it's going to happen is if we declare you great, great over this land, great over us. You be Lord, you rule. No longer I, but Christ in us. You are great, and we magnify you. We enlarge you. That's what that word means. We, mag- we make you big, and we trust in you. The great God, the one who was, the one who is and is to come, the one who said, let there be and there was. Ah, Jesus, you're a great God. You're a great God. Be with us as we honor you. 
not just with our lips, but with our lives. Let us be a light in dark places. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Well, friends, good afternoon. Welcome to the start of our weekly chapel program. To those of you here in, in McGinnis Auditorium, and also to those who are watching online. Different time, same location, and more importantly, the same commitment we have for our ch weekly chapel program. I want to thank our chapel worship team uh, ministry led by our new chapel worship team advisor, Richard White. We want to thank all of them um, for leading. And they're trying to be extra quiet while I'm speaking, which I appreciate, but they're doing wonderfully well. We are grateful for our chapel worship team ministry and also our chapel production team above, Paul, Kevin, Grant, Jay, and Jalen. Thank you. Each week they're able to help us with our chapel program. And many of you know our faithful prayer email coordinator, Nancy Hartsock. Uh, we are thankful for Nancy. She's watching this afternoon. Thank you, Nancy who continues to minister to our community in her retirement. And to the student chaplains who will usher each week, um, you'll see them greeting you and helping with chapel. We are grateful. And certainly, um, um, we want to thank Sodexo Food Service. Did you see the spread out there? Right? Thank you to Dennis Turner. Yeah. It's kind of an afternoon version that they did, they said. So that was really, really good for providing tasty treats. And let me just give a shout out to our plan operations. Um, they oftentimes get uh, just, you know, they're doing so much on our campus. And I just, I'm very grateful as they prepare our campus for the new academic year. So thanks to our plan operations that works extraordinarily hard for us. Friends, as God has greeted us with his peace, so now let us take a moment to pass the peace of Christ to one another. So we're going to ask you if you wouldn't mind standing and turning to the person next to you and sharing Christ's peace this afternoon. Just welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. May the peace of Christ be with us this academic year. I'd like to especially welcome uh, our new students, residential transfer and commuter. Would you please stand? Just we want to welcome our new students among us. Take a moment here. Welcome to Eastern University. We are grateful to the students um, who have studied abroad and domestically. We welcome them back. We also want to remember to pray. We have uh, seven students studying either abroad or domestically this semester. So Caden, Sylvie, Tia, Rachel, Kylie, Eve, and Aliyah are studying, and we'll keep them in prayer as they study away from our campus uh, this semester. We also perhaps have new faculty, staff, and administrators. If you're new to our community, please stand. We want to welcome you, <laughs> faculty, staff, and administrators. Wow. We are grateful that you're here. And uh, for faculty either returning from or going on sabbatical, we keep them in prayer also. And finally, seniors who are attending chapel for the first time, <laughs> don't stand. Where have you been? Where have you been? Okay, only kidding there. As the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 26, if one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. The Christian journey, as we know, is comprised of suffering and rejoicing. So let's take a moment to remember those who have recently died, uh, 
Perhaps you have a loved one who had passed recently. I know in our community we remember our colleague Austin Ricketts and his family. But we all have loss uh, in, 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 many, in many degrees, so we want to remember that. Let us also remember those who are struggling with illness and sickness and worry and despair. We need to remember those folks. And especially, let's remember to pray for peace in our world. We remember Ukraine, the Middle East, what is happening in Sudan and Congo and so many other places in the world. And also, as we remember these, we also want to thank God for the joys and graces in our lives each and every day as we journey this academic year together here at Eastern University. Amen and amen and amen. As you may know, um, we are leaning into our centennial year, and that is an exciting, exciting time. Uh, Psalm 100 verse 5 has been selected by the university and also by the student chaplain program this year. Um, let me read it to you. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. What a wonderful verse to be reminded of as we journey towards the university's birthday, uh, March 19th. 2025. And do you know what day of the week that falls on? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> so we're going to have a birthday party March 19, 2020, right here. And uh, yeah, and I'll cut the cake. No, I won't cut the cake. We'll have the president cut the cake, I'm sure. But the point being, it's exciting to know of God's goodness, love, and faithfulness. Let's hold on to that particularly at times when we're feeling that God is distant or we feel dis distraught about anything. We are going to be leaning into, and we hope in, the, in chapel in spring of 2025, we'll work on themes of God's goodness, love, and faithfulness. Wonderful. Um, when you leave uh, chapel this afternoon, we have a small gift for you. Um, I think it's a gift. You may beg otherwise, but we have a special card we'd like to give to you today, uh, and then it's double, double-sided, and it is about the purpose of chapel. Sometimes it's good just to put it out there about why we have chapel each week, and as you can see, the front of the card and the back, I just want to highlight a couple things, but everyone, you can get this. We believe that the chapel program here at Eastern University, that Jesus Christ is the center of what we do each Wednesday afternoon. And what surrounds the centeredness of that are celebration. We want to celebrate together, and we want to celebrate particularly in song and in word, but also to celebrate the great Christian tradition, right? We have Christians from the Catholic branch, the Protestant branch, the Orthodox branch. We have Christians from various denominations. We want to honor the great tradition in Christianity. So you'll see chapel reflecting that in both worship, with speakers, and with ritual, the things that we do. We do everything from a labyrinth to having a priest uh, from different traditions speak in chapel. Why do we do that? We're honoring and celebrating the great Christian tradition. The next word may be somewhat familiar to you. Um, you may know of catechism. Maybe you grew up with a catechism, but catechesis is an important word in the New Testament. It, happened, it occurs eight times by the writer Luke in his gospel and the Acts of the Apostles, and four times by the Apostle Paul, and it means to instruct, to instruct, to inform. So we believe another part of chapel is you, have, you get instruction from speakers, from experiences that you have. Um, we want to be inspirational, but we also want to be formational. And we're wanting to instruct in the Christian faith, and that's called catechesis. Community. I hope you sense that we're trying to build community, a community of not just welcome, which we hope you felt welcome, but we're really trying to build a community of belonging belonging. And usually what that means is that we need to share things together as, as a community to really sense a belonging, that you all belong at Eastern University. And because of our diversity on so many levels, we need to always work towards belonging. 
shared experiences that say we're all at different places of the journey, but we're all moving towards the center, and the center being Jesus of Nazareth, right? That's the last part. Jesus Christ is the center, the center of our uh, university, the center of our chapel program, the center of everything that we attempt to do is moving towards Jesus. So I wanted to, you'll get that on the way out, and hopefully you'll remember to pray for our chapel program. I really do hope you do that. I hope you attend as often as you can. We'd love to see you, and uh, we just are looking forward to a very exciting program. All right, we have a tradition here, at least since I've been here, I guess, we, uh, we asked two graduating seniors from the class of 2025 to come up to answer a quiz, a question that I wrote, and then we give you a gift if you get the answer correct. Do we have any willing volunteers from the class of 2025 to come up? We need two volunteers to come up to be ready for the quiz. Anybody? Come right up, come right up. <laughs> Wonderful. We need one more student that's graduating in May 2020. Oh, we have, uh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, two wonderful students, part of our chapel worship team ministry. Tell me your name. I know who you are, but just, just play with me here. Can you come close to the microphone? Yeah. What, your name, please, and you, what you're majoring in. Okay. Uh, I'm Julian Riley. I'm a double major in business and theology. Okay, so and Brian? Uh, I'm Brian. I'm a data science and finance major. Wonderful. And you're both graduating May of 2025. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with Julian. I have okay. a question. Just turn around, take a look. All right. Now, no one help, please. <laughs> <laughs> Takes me a while to come up with these. Wow. All right. Uh, let, let's go through it. Okay. Matthews Hall after our president. Yeah. Which one? Yes, it is. Great motorcycle. Oh, we that. need this. That's the reason. That's or, that Julian, pay attention okay. now. Okay. Or, Centennial. Eagle Learning Center, ELC, was renamed to? Centennial. Oh, excellent. Excellent, Julian. Wow. All right, here's, here's some okay. lead, lead pencils you. there. Yeah, Wonderful. Okay, wow. you, can, okay. you can go ahead and be seated. Okay, uh, Brian? Okay. You ready? I guess so. That was a tough one. That was tough. All right. Our athletic department recently added the following sport. Men's rugby. That would be cool. Toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping for snow. A lot of snow. And, or women's flag football. What is the answer, Brian? Women's flag football. Look at that. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. All right. Go. So you did well. It looks very, very positive that you'll graduate. <clears throat> Very positive that you're graduating. You got smart students here. They pay it. They pay attention, don't they? Got both of those quizzes. Okay. All kidding aside. Now this is a time that we we spend together in which we want to hear from you. Um, we don't have a speaker per se, but we're going to ask our community to offer words of encouragement as we begin the academic year. We have two student chaplains, Alice and Catherine. Come forward, please. They're going to uh, circulate. They will circulate a microphone. Just grab a microphone there. And we would like for you to raise your hand if you'd like to share something. Give us your name. If you're a student, your year at Eastern University, or if you're a faculty, staff, or administrator, your title would be helpful. And a brief a word of encouragement or maybe a scripture passage. The key part of that is brief. Be brief. And uh, then we will take as many as we can, and then I will keep track monitoring the time, and then I'll close with a benediction. So let's listen to what God would like to share with us this afternoon from our community. So, and, and Alice, would you take that aisle, please? Thank you. And Catherine. So if you'd like to say something of encouragement as we begin this new academic year, please raise your hand and we'll begin. My name is um, Lisa Amos. I am a new resident director of Key and Guffin. <laughs> so first I'm going to ask y'all to pray for me because I have first gen and first year students. So, 
But my encouragement to the students is uh, a scripture from Philippians, which says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything and prayer and mm-hmm. supplication, mm-hmm. make your requests known to God and the peace of God that is in Christ Jesus will keep your mind. Amen. So refer to that, stu- that scripture when you get anxious. And if you speak a word over yourself, you will not be anxious because God is faithful to walk out his word. Amen. Hello, my name is Carolina, and I just pray for everybody at Eastern University, and I also pray that you guys will get through your challenges because you will get through your Mm -hmm. challenges. Wonderful. Thank you. is Keith Kyer, freshman. Um, every day starts anew. That's my word of encouragement. Mm, amen. Hi, I'm Teresa Noy. I'm the director of the Good Scholars Program in the Multicultural Office. And Keith actually just uh, was a great um, introduction to the scripture that was on my heart, which is Isaiah 43, 18, and what happened to it? Boom. Okay, here we go. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19, and it says, stop dwelling on the past. This is the Passion Translation, which I love. Stop dwelling on the past. Don't even remember these former things. I am doing something brand new. Something unheard of. Even now, it sprouts and grows and matures. Don't you perceive it? Hmm. I will make a way in the wilderness and open up flowing streams in the desert. And, you know, I was sharing with the scholars that The beautiful thing about college is you always get an opportunity to start fresh. Each semester is just fresh. Mm -hmm. It's new, right? But not only that, particularly to the first year students that are coming from high school, whatever was in the past is in the Mm -hmm. past. Even if you're not a first year student, whatever happened before is in the past. You could, hey, Richard. You can always start fresh. You can always start anew. So my encouragement to you is to remember that every day is a brand new mercy, and you can always start fresh. So make a commitment to yourself to begin again and again and again and again. Hey everyone, so I'm Allison, I'm a senior this year, and I have a bit of just kind of like advice that kind of leads into like an encouragement. So I want to say just seek opportunity, seek Mm. experience, (laughs) and with that, seek connection. Um, Not only because connections will bring about new opportunities, you never know what will come arise, but connections are just ways that like you can feel loved, And that there are so many people here at Eastern, there truly are, that, like, do, like, really want to show that love and that, like, do want to connect with you. Um, Hmm. We have so many clubs. We have so many events on this campus that, like, we really are a community here. And I've learned that through the past four years. And I'm just, I'm over here worshiping this, like, this afternoon. I almost said morning. (laughs) This afternoon. And... (laughs) I'm like, you know, I feel so connected to this community. It's like four, been four years, and I'm like, how is this my fourth time being here for my first chapel mm-hmm. of the season? Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, I just want to say, just seek opportunity, seek new connections, because you never know what they will bring about, and most of the time it'll be joy. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, my name is Tim Eisman. I graduated last year, but decided to come back because 
Can't get enough of Dr. Modica. Um, <laughs> I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes from 2013 uh, 76ers manager, Sam Hinkie. He said, trust the process. It's going to be hard. It's going to suck. Um, there's going to be times where we're like, oh, no, I don't want to go to class. I'm going to fail this. Trust the process. You get through it. I was not ready to graduate, but God brought me to back up on mm. top. So trust the process. Hi, guys. Ooh, I'm scared. My name is Data, and I'm a freshman. And I just wanted to encourage you guys in worship because I feel like the Lord is really looking for people who will continue to worship him in spirit and in truth and despite of their trials and their afflictions it's in your afflictions and your problems that you have to worship more because you're showing the lord that even though there's things that are trying you you know you're still acknowledging that he is faithful and he's the one that's going to carry you through it and so i think that worship will carry us through this year because there's things that you know are going to come and just continue to be the light in the midst of darkness. Um, there's like a small community here and, you know, we want to build it and we want to build the kingdom of the Lord at the end of the day. And so, yeah, don't be afraid to um, stand out and not conform to the things of this world. sophomore and I just wanted to read a verse that I'm going to be using for my year um, so that is why for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses and in insults and hardships and persecution and difficulties for when I am weak then I am strong um, I just wanted to say that the year is probably going to get hard for a lot of us we're all going to have some things that we wish we could change or things that we're upset about um, but just trust in the Lord and trust that he knows what he's doing because he does <laughs> Hi, my name is Diane. I am studying biblical studies. I'm in my third year. I recently had experience that God had put into my mar my mind and my heart that when you have a challenging face of like trials, never be afraid to reset all of those things. Never be afraid to like understand when there's a case scenario of that, I throw in the towel, God is gonna throw it right back. And understanding that yes, you can make mistakes and yes, you can learn from them. Do not be afraid to ask for help and to ask to love back. Um, one of the scriptures in First Corinthians, it says, Love is kind. Love is patient. Mm -hmm. Do not forget about yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. I'm Georgia. Um, I'm a sophomore here, and I kind of, since everybody's been talking about how there's trials and challenges that mm -hmm. we all go through, I really wanted to like point out how we should lean on God's strength through all these times because he is truly our strength through all of this. And the verse I wanted to point out is my absolute favorite. And it's, but Jesus looked at them and said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. And I just thought that could be encouraging to mm. everybody here. Yeah. So. Thank you. Um, I'm Michaela, and there's this song that we sang at my camp, and the fifth verse, I think, or fourth, really applies to this school year. Um, it says, I am not my own, and now my heart is free. O maker, come and make what you will of me. There is nothing broken that you cannot repair. So, Lord, I leave my life in your loving care. Mm.
we probably have time for just a couple of more. So if you have something you'd like to share, please do so. Hi, everyone. I'm Ife, and I'm a senior. Mm. And um, <laughs> one verse that came to my mind as uh, we were thinking about this school year is uh, where God promises that he will strengthen us and he will help us mm. and he will uphold us with his right hand of righteousness. And I just wanted to tell everyone that, um, I mean, speaking from the standpoint of uh, a senior, I've seen that verse coming into reality every, mm. every day, you know, ever since I joined here. And I just want to encourage everyone, when you feel like you want to, give up, you want to throw in the towel, you want to just call it quits, you know, that's when you lean on God and say, God, help me. God, walk me through this, and he will strengthen you. He will, multi he will multiply. He will give you all the power that you need to get through this school year. Mm. Okay. I know you want to get to the snacks. No, that's not true. Um, thank you. You could put those microphones. Thank you for that. Um, it's wonderful to hear encouraging words. Uh, for our first year students in particular, I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Mackenzie Bancroft and, and Megan Isido from the Office of Faith and Practice. They have been able to organize two university vans on Sunday morning that will take students to two local churches and you'll be getting an email for that uh, so if you need transportation to get to church we will help make that happen for some of you who would like to do that a week from today a week from today is september 4th which is our area churches day we will have roughly about 20 churches in the lobby uh, set up uh, they'll also be with us in chapel but this is an opportunity for particularly new students, but anyone who would like to know uh, the churches in the area and to get connected. Um, chapel is not church. It never, was never intended to be church. Uh, Wednesday night worship is not church. We worship a lot, and we do a lot of good things here. But we believe in the church. We believe in the role of the church while as a student at Eastern University. So next week, we're excited. Dr. Pete Enns, who's in our Department of Theology, will be speaking and we'll have a wonderful time. So if you're nervous about like, I don't know what church, what should I think about, particularly by next Wednesday, you'll have an opportunity uh, to meet local area church representatives. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to stand in body or spirit to receive the benediction and then we are dismissed to begin this wonderful academic year 2024-25. Let's pray together to God. Oh Lord, thank you for this beginning of the new academic year for all our students, faculty, staff, and administrators that we may embrace the greatest commandment you taught us, to love you with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strengths, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Everything else is peripheral. May it be so. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next week. All righty.